Candelaria is the uh, first ghost town that I visited after my uh, first night in the town of Mina at uh, the Sunrise uh, RV Park. You can see the whole report at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Mina, M-I-N-A, with details about Mina and about Candelaria and uh, about Marietta. We're turning off of um, US 95 here. That's the main conduit between northern and southern Nevada. Uh, we're in western, southwestern Nevada or central western Nevada at this point. We're turning on to uh, Nevada 360, uh, which is a nicely paved road heading towards the town of Bishop. Very desolate. Um, you can see it's very, very stark. Um, but uh, shortly after this, you do see a sign actually for Candelaria and uh, I passed by it. I drove up a little further just to see what was up the road, came back. Uh, it's a very clearly marked sign. And uh, you turn off the road uh, onto gravel. And at that point, you're on gravel all the way to Candelaria. There is another uh, access point further south on 95, actually, that takes you to Candelaria that's paved. And the reason for that, when you get to Candelaria, you actually see electricity, uh, power poles, uh, the reason for that is that there is uh, current activity going on in the area um, for mining. It's not that Candelaria is ever going to return to being a town. And you can read again about the history at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Mina, M-I-N-A. Uh, we're on the gravel road now. It's pretty accessible to any two-wheel drive vehicle. And like I say, there is a paved alternative. Um, you reach Candelaria. There isn't much to see in this particular view, but from some of my photos, you do get a better sense. And particularly the visit to the cemetery was, was uh, pretty um, amazing. I'll put it that way. So I'll leave you with that and uh, you'll get more on my post. Thank you.